Hello, it's Andrew Westoff with Homes Mortgage Lending, and I wanted to go over a new promotion that Homes Mortgage Lending is running through the end of March, where you get a appraisal credit up to $600 and 1% lower interest rate for the first year. So let's jump into it. So what this is, is it's a 1-0 buy-down program, where the interest rate is 1% lower for the first year, and again, like I said, $600 up to a $600 appraisal credit. Promotion is good through the end of March 2023. And then eligible loan programs are conventional, FHA, VA, and USDA. So here's how it works. The cost to buy down the rate for that first year is covered with the lender credit. So there is a, a cost to it. Um, and then there's a 1% reduced rate for the first 12 months. So I'm gonna give you an example of this here in the, in the next slide to show you what it looks like. Um, so it causes the initial interest rate to be slightly higher than the standard rate, just a little bit higher but 1% lower overall. Um, and then years two through 30, months 13 through 360, the payment adjusts to the actual rate that you locked in. So the first 12 months, it's 1% lower. The next 29 years, assuming you do a 30 year fixed, um, it goes to what the rate would have been. Um, and then the cost of the appraisal is, appraisal is credited back at closing up to $600. So I'm gonna go through this example. Here's the assumptions for the example. We did this on a 30 year fixed conventional loan. Assume that the buyer was a first time buyer making 80% or less of the area median income. That's just how the interest rate was derived for this example. Um, assuming it's a single family home with a borrower with a 740 or higher credit score on a 30 day lock period. Um, and the loan scenario was a $400,000 purchase with 5% down. Uh, and the rates were good as of uh, 11 o'clock today, December 14th, 2023 at Homeless Mortgage Lending. So this would be an actual scenario that a client would have been able to, to get um, should they have moved forward on this today. So let's compare um, a, the 1-0 buy down on this promotion with the standard 30 year fixed. So on the 1-0 buy down, the initial rate would be 6.625% and the APR would be 6.96% based on today's rates for that scenario that I just ran through. If you did a standard conventional, it would be 6.375%, so a quarter percent lower with an APR of 6.704%. And then for that 1-0 buy-down, the first year, the uh, rate that you pay would be 5.625%, so 1% lower than what you locked in. So the principal and interest payment would be $2,187.49 per month on that $400,000 purchase with 5% down or $380,000 loan amount. And then year two through 30, the rate would be 6.625%, the actual rate that you locked in. And principal and interest payment would be $2,433.18 per month. On that standard rate, that 6.375%, the principal and interest payment is $2,370.71 per month. So you can see that from years two through 30, you're paying a little bit more, and I'm gonna break this down on the next slide. But that first year, that payment is significantly lower. So for the first year, the payment is $183.22, sorry, $183.22 lower per month on that loan size um, than the standard conventional option. Uh, so that's compared to the standard conventional option, not um, compared to what that 6.625% rate uh, would be. This would be, this is actual savings if you did this program versus just doing a standard 30 year fixed conventional. Um, and then year two, the payment increases $245.69 per month which is a decent increase because it's 1% higher, but that's $62.47 per month more than the standard conventional option. So that monthly payment's not going up a ton based on if you would have just done the standard conventional. So the total payment savings in year one, so that $183.22 for those first 12 payments, um, multiplied out is $2,198.64 for this scenario. Um, and if the client refinances within 47 months, they'll be financially ahead. So what I mean by that is you save $2,198.64 uh, in the first year, and then moving forward, because the payment's $62.47 higher than what it would have been on the standard loan, um, it, we just divide that $2,198.64 by that $62.47 higher payment, and it takes another 35 months, a little, little over 35 months, but just for um, using round months, uh, it takes 35 months to um, recoup that $2,198.64. Not recoup it b before you s that uh, additional amount that you're paying per month versus the standard program, 
would start to be more overall. So what this means is that as long as you refinance within 47 months, you're gonna be ahead of the game um, financially. Um, so again, 35 months, uh, 12 months at the initial savings and then another 35 months at the higher payment to get to that, that break even amount. And you get a $600 credit. So if we figure in up to $600, whatever your appraisal cost was, the range in Southeast Michigan from 500 to 600 is kind of the average. Um, so whatever the actual appraisal cost is, that's getting credited back at closing as well. So if that, that on this scenario, that $62.47 higher payment would be even longer before the break even where you would be worse off doing the, uh, the 1 0 buy down with the appraisal credit uh, because you're also saving the money for the appraisal. So the goal with this program is to uh, refinance, hopefully within that first year. Most experts expect that rates are gonna come down in 2024, and there's a good chance you'll be refinancing and hopefully not seeing that $245.69 per month increase by refinancing before that happens. Um, however, if you don't, you're still only slightly higher on the monthly payment than what you would have been. And as long as you refinance within under four years, you're still ahead of the game. So I think this program makes a lot of financial sense. Um, if you're a buyer thinking about this program, um, the, uh, this is something that if I was buying a home today, this is what I would do. But there is certainly a risk tolerance. So there's no guarantee on when rates will fall, how, how fast they'll fall. So there is the risk that if they don't, then you've got a little bit higher of an interest rate by doing this program if it's you know 20, uh, 2028 or later. Um, and the rates still haven't come down to a point where it would make sense to do a refinance. Um, so, uh, like I said, this is something that I would do. If you're a realtor watching this, when you talk to buyers, um, it's a good idea to uh, get them to me so we can go through this. My plan is to talk to every single buyer that um, I think that this would make sense for, which is going to be the vast majority of them, and show them the, the two options side by side so that they can make the decision. The goal of this program is not to um, buy a home and stretch your budget so that you can uh, buy a little bit more home or get into a home. And then when that rate adjusts, you're panicked that it doesn't make financial sense. You, you, you uh, um, can't make that, that make ends meet because you were hoping to refinance within the first year. So um, again, there's a little bit of a risk tolerance in it. And um, I want my clients to, when we look at this, be able to afford that higher payment. If you can't afford that higher payment uh, of that $245.69 jump in this scenario, um, uh, the difference on the actual rate that you would have taken without doing this program is only $62.47. So it's most likely a scenario where you probably weren't in a position to, to buy the home anyway to make it affordable. And you shouldn't be buying a home um, because the interest rate's artificially lower for a, a short period of time. This is just a great option for um, kind of gaming the system to um, get a little bit artificially lower rate initially because you're probably going to be refinancing. Um, and it's most likely in your financial best interest to, to do so, plus you get a, uh, an appraisal credit. So I hope that makes sense. All of my contact information is in the video description. If you're anywhere in Michigan considering buying a home, um, uh, you know this year would be between now and March or really any time, please reach out. I'd love to go through your scenario. Um, I, I'm a very low pressure guy, so when we do that, I don't uh, want to immediately go, hey, let's get you pre-approved and start looking for homes. We can go through your numbers before we go through that pre-approval process so we know that it makes sense for your budget, um, get all of your questions answered, and then if it makes sense, do the pre-approval. If not, if you're gonna do it you know, six months from now, a year from now, whatever the case is, this program might not be there, but regardless, uh, getting a, a good look at your numbers before you get out there and start looking at homes is gonna be uh, best case scenario, and I'm more than happy to talk to clients. I talk to many clients you know, six months, a year, two years before they're planning on purchasing a home. And then if you're a realtor watching this video, um, if you have clients that are kind of on the fence or worried about interest rates, uh, we both know the best thing to do is what I just said, get them in touch with, with me or another reputable loan officer. Me right now, because I've got this program and most lenders uh, don't unless they work with the specific wholesale lender that I work with. Um, but regardless, uh, um, talk to them about the, there are some great options available. You can get an appraisal credit potentially. Um, there's some options with you know some down payment assistance, some payment grants are, are very popular right now, especially for first time buyers. So if uh, um, you have clients that are kind of considering it, tell them, hey, give Andrew a call, no pressure. We go through your scenario, see what makes sense. And if it makes sense, we'll get them pre-approved and move forward and get them start looking for a home. If not, we'll get them on the right track so they know what they need to plan for, what that budget's gonna look like um, so that they are better prepared when they are ready to buy a home. Um, so again, please reach out if you have any questions. All my contact information is in the video description. Hope this was helpful and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.